For more on this, I'm joined by Kevin Freya, Chairman and CEO of Vapor Corp, live from our NASDAQ studios in New York. Um, welcome to BizAsia America. Sir, let me uh, first by start asking you about the, uh, the benefits of uh, this sort of electronic cigarette for the tobacco industry. Sure. Um, actually, we're, we're an anti-smoking company. Um, to electronic cigarettes, if you haven't seen one, I have one here. Uh, they have many benefits. And the user gets the same pleasure, the same experience as he is when he's smoking, but none of the harmful toxic chemicals and none of the side effects associated with the chemicals and carcinogens when you're uh, smoking okay, a regular so combustible cigarette. For our audience, we're talking about basically nicotine. We're also talking about the carcinogens, and we're also talking about the smoke, all of which has been proven in one way or another to increase the chances of getting cancer. Am I correct? Uh, everything except the nicotine. The nicotine uh, that <clears throat> people are smoking is, is not the harmful chemical in the, in the tobacco. Okay. Criticism from the World Health Organization that not enough is being done to cut back on tobacco use. So let me just step away from electronic cigarettes first because let's sure. talk about just normal smoking. We all agree that it's bad for you. Too many people are probably doing it. How are, you, how are we going to stop that? Uh, electronic cigarettes could be the missing uh, piece of the puzzle. Um, until today, the, there was no alternative for, for smokers. So uh, they're unfortunately to have a habit. And uh, these electronic cigarette offers an alternative and will afford the governments, uh, so to speak, if they regulate tobacco, to give the smokers an alternative while they're trying to wean themselves off of tobacco. Tobacco use uh, has gone down here in the United States over the past couple of decades, um, not bearing the last year or two. Um, but a lot of it has to do with the cost of also smoking, the awareness that the general public has regarding the harm that they have. But in China, smoking is still very much rampant. What is the solution to perhaps raising more awareness that not only is tobacco bad for the people who smoke, but it's also bad for the people you're smoking around? Sure. I think the governments owe it to the people. Um, to educate the, the consumers. And in a country like China where there's a, 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 the electronic cigarettes may be cost prohibitive, for example, today, I mean, I think the government should look at not only regulating tobacco but subsidizing an alternative. Um, and uh, the cost per use for an electronic cigarette um, can be as low as uh, 80 cents or a dollar a day, which is about the price of a pack of cigarettes in, in China, I believe. And I think that it's something they should look at. There will be a huge cost savings on the medical side in years to come as well. Has there been any studies done on the, um, I don't want to say the word benefits, but uh, mm -hmm. any studies done on electronic cigarettes and if there are any health issues related to that? Because it's a relatively new product. It is relatively new. We're in business for five years, and there are many studies coming out. We're lucky we have science on our side. Uh, not only the science of how bad cigarettes are for you, but uh, electronic cigarettes in all the studies have been shown to be uh, less harmful. As a matter of fact, even the secondhand uh, vapor, so to speak, um, there have been studies to show that there are no uh, carbon monoxide, there's no carcinogens, and 10 times less nicotine emitted into the air from the secondhand smoke associated with electronic cigarettes. Some people say one of the solutions is to raise taxes. Um, obviously, there are many who are opposed to that because it's a it would be a regressive tax. It would hurt the poor more than the rich. Nonetheless, does it work? Uh, we agree with any type of regulation to help curb uh, the tobacco smoking. It's really a, a horrible uh, result when people can't quit um, smoking tobacco. And I, I think whatever they need to do to, uh, to get people off of, of tobacco is, is a benefit for everyone included. So, some are saying that uh, for those who are addicted to smoking, that the governments have simply not done enough to help people quit smoking altogether. Some companies, you know, now uh, offer their employees programs to help quit smoking. Um, part of the health and wellness situation, do you think that should be the case for most companies? Should they offer that to their employees? Definitely they should. And as a matter of fact, here in the U.S., some companies have taken the, the liberty of making their own rules and allowing electronic cigarette smoking, for example, which uh, you know, they feel is, is a better alternative. And it also is better for productivity because people aren't going out and taking cigarette breaks every uh, you know, half an hour. So that, that is one thing that they've done here in the U.S. I want you to, uh, you know, Explain to us the strategy in going into China and selling the electronic cigarettes there. Do you think people will adopt to it as quickly as they have in other parts of the, of the world? And what would the marketing strategy be? Sure. Well, one thing we have going for us here is that the Chinese culture usually adapts to, to Western culture. Um, they, they take our good habits and our bad, unfortunately. 
Um, so I, I think there's definitely a possibility that, uh, you know, if with education um, and, and having an alternative, that it can be achieved to, you know, give them an alternative. And uh, if the cost is, is, again, maybe have to be subsidized by the Chinese government for the, the less fortunate um, who are unfortunately addicted. Um, but if the cost is equal, I don't see why they wouldn't choose the better alternative. I, I just want to interrupt you here. You're saying you would like the government to subsidize the smokers by buying the electronic cigarettes. Is that, is that what I'm hearing? You, you know, um, some of the regulation that has passed, it's been a debate of whether they should regulate the electronic cigarettes as a tobacco product or as a drug device. Um, and, and, you know, we're all for, for regulation. But I think in a country like China, um, they should take a hard look. At, instead of taxing, they could tax cigarettes and subsidize electronic cigarettes. And I think that would help, you know, make tip, tip the scale, so to speak. Yeah, why not? All right. Kevin Freya, Chairman, CEO of Vapor Corp., thank you very much. Live for us in New York.